Hello everyone, in this video I will go over the solutions of participation number 5. So let's start with number number 1. What does it mean for an integral to be convergent? An integral to be convergent means simply that the integral is not infinite. So convergent only means is the integral from a to b where a and b could be infinity also minus infinity or infinity the the integral is less than infinity that's it that's what that's what it means to be conversion now an example of a uh, integral that is divergent where the limits don't go to infinity it could be this the integral from 1 to uh, e of dx over um, x minus 1. By substitution, this is equals to ln of x minus 1 from x equals to 1 to e. So this would be equals to ln of e minus 1 so this part is okay there's no issues with this but then this will be minus ln of 0 but ln of 0 you remember the graph for ln or the log it looks like this so as you approach 0 from the right side this is going to minus infinity so the integral will be minus infinity so therefore this is divergent Let's move on to number two. Number two part A says find the following improper integral. Improper integral just means that the limits are infinite or that the endpoints or the limits are not part of the, the domain. So in this particular case, for now, let's just pretend the limits are not there and just focus on this part. We're going to use substitution let's say that u is equals to x to the 4 then the u will be 4x q dx and also notice that u square it will be x to the 4 square which is equals to x to the 8 so then this is equivalent to if you do the substitution the integral of du over 1 plus u square and then you need to account for the 4 so this will have 1 4 uh, now notice that if x goes from 1 to infinity u is going to go in this particular case also from 1 1 to the 4 is 1 and infinity is to the four still infinity. So the limits for this particular case, they remain the same. This is still one to infinity. So then the difference when you have an improper integral is the this will be equals to the following. You can put the one four inside, and then this is the same thing as the limit as b goes to infinity, or the integral from one to b of du over 1 plus u square but you already know what this is this is one of the classic integrals that's tangent inverse so this is equals to the limit as b goes to infinity of tangent inverse of u from 1 to b and then uh, you take the limit for this, this will be 1, 4. The limit as b goes to infinity of tangent inverse of b minus tangent inverse of 1. Notice that tangent inverse of 1 is equal to pi over 4. And tangent inverse of infinity is pi over 2. Okay, so note tangent of pi over 2, this is from trigonometry, 
is equals to infinity which means tangent inverse of infinity is pi over 2 of course this is referring on the on the limit so therefore this will be 1 4 times pi over 2 minus pi over 4 so this is 1 4 times pi over 4 this is pi over 16 now let's move on to part b so very similar to the previous one here the substitution is going to be u equals to ln x so du will be dx over x so if x goes from 1 to infinity that means u will go to ln 1 ln 1 is 0 so this will be equivalent to integrating uh, this part but now from 0 to infinity because ln of infinity is infinity and now you're gonna have du over u cube so therefore this is the same thing as the limit as b goes to infinity but the integral from 0 to b of du over u q which is equals to the limit as b goes to infinity of negative 1 over u square from 0 to b so therefore this will be negative the limit as b goes to infinity of 1 over b square minus 1 over 0 square since we cannot divide by 0 this will be infinite ironically here you play infinity in this one this will be 0 so this will be 0 minus infinity so the whole thing will be infinity so therefore this is divergent okay let's move on to the next problem and this one is asking you to integrate this using the trapezoid method in order to use the trapezoid method you need to have delta x which is b minus a over n so in this case this is 3 minus 1 over 4 so this is equals to 1 half or 0.5 and then xi is going to be equals to a plus i delta x so in this case this will be 1 plus i times 1 half now to make our life easier notice that this is pretty much what we're integrating is the following this one starting in 1 and then this is going to be 1.5 2 2.5 and 3 so this is x4 this is x0 x1 and so forth notice that the distance for each of these is delta x which is just 0.5 so for the trapezoid uh, the formula is the following t of 4 this is going to be equals to delta x over 2 times f of 1 plus 2 f of 1.5 plus 2f of 2 plus 2f of 2.5 and plus f of 3 which is this points evaluated at the evaluated this point sorry and then this is going to be another remember that delta x is one half so this is technically one four and then you have to compute each of these values make sure that you use radians not degrees in the calculator so the first one is point a4 147 make sure that you use at least five decimal places then it will be two times point six six five zero zero you run to five places 
plus 2 times uh, 0.45465 plus 2 times 0.23939 this is what I got in the calculator then plus 0 0.047040 and this is around uh, 0 0.9 Zero, 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 six depends how you round. So, this is the answer. Now, for Simpson's formula, um, it's a little longer, but it's the same, same idea. Obviously, there is a slight difference. So, S four or Simpson using n equals to four. By the way, uh, uh for Simpson's rule, n must be even which it is an even number otherwise this doesn't work and the formula is delta x over 3 this is f of x 0 plus 2 f of x 1 plus 4 so the 4 and the 2 keep alternating plus 2 f of x uh, 3 and finally f of x so in our case, this is going to be one half divided by three times again f of one plus two f of one point five f of two two times f of two point five and finally f of three. So then this will be one six f of 1 we already have the value was 0.844 oh, sorry a1 a4147 and then you multiply find this value this is around uh, 2.65 uh, and then plus uh, point nine zero zero nine three plus point nine five seven five six and then the same one that we have before point zero four seven zero four and this is around point nine zero two five six okay finally how large should m be to guarantee that the trapezoid method approximation is within point zero zero one so here we need to start with the formula for the error so the trapezoid error has to be less than or equal to k times v minus a to the third power divided by 12 n square this is true only if the second derivative is less than or equals to k where k is a constant so we need to figure out the second derivative and then find a find a bound for it so here we have f of x equals to e to the x square so f prime is going to be e to the x square times 2x or 2x to the x squared and then the second derivative you're going to use the product rule so you can take the two out this will be the derivative of the first one times the second one plus the derivative of the second one times the first one and you simplify you end up with two e to the x square plus uh, 4 x square e to the x square you can factor the e to the x square and this is 2 plus 4 x square now since uh, x is between 0 and 1 that means the biggest value for x is is 1 so since 
x is between 0 and 1, that implies that the maximum or the second derivative is always going to be less than or equal to e to the 1 square times 2 plus 4 times 1 square, which is less than or equal to 6e. So this is the maximum the second derivative will be. No need for absolute value here because everything is positive, but you can use the absolute value you want. Therefore, from here we get a, the following the 6e times 1q, which is just 1, divided by 12n squared has to be less than or equal to 0 0.001 which is also just 10 to the negative 3. If you cross multiply, you end up with 0 0.001 n squared is greater or equal to uh, e over 2, which means that n squared is greater or equal, once you do the simplification, 1358.69 which means n is greater or equal to the square root of that which is 36.86 so you need to have at least 37 iterations or n has to be at least 37 and that's it